Hello everyone there, this is Mitch the Cabby and uh, making one of my relatively infrequent broadcasts over the internet to vent my, or express my views and vent my unhappiness about certain things. And it's going to come as no surprise to many of you that today's thing is going to be about the coronavirus and the way people are disgracing themselves, quite frankly, with their panic buying. Now, I mean, I'm an independent taxi driver, and over the last couple of weeks, I've seen 90% of my trade fall off, which is airport runs. People are just not flying there because the flights are cancelled. Fine, that's common sense. No problem for that. Bit of a problem money-wise, but I'll get by. But I'm now not free to do more things to help people, and a lot of my customers are quite elderly. And they're not unfairly, they're, they're not too keen on going out supermarket shopping when there's all this scare stuff with the, the virus out there at the moment, with the, the way it spreads rapidly, and how it's very deadly for the older people. And so, I've offered to do shopping for some of them uh, as part and parcel of A, helping them out, and B, keeping my wheels rolling and money coming in. And today I've just done my first shopping trip for a customer. I won't name her, she's a lovely lady. And she gave me a very simple shopping list, nothing outrageous. Um, a few tins of food, some bottled water. Um, yeah, God, that lorry nearly killed me. Um, you know, bits and pieces like that. She wanted some uh, paracetamol and loo roll. Not 24 packs, like just a pack of loo roll. And a packet of paracetamol because she's got back problems. So I was going to go to the macro. Uh, Rayleigh, I've got a macro card, but I thought actually, as I'm nearby, I'll slide into the Tesco's in Braintree. And respect to Tesco's, the staff I think are working around the clock in there, they all look pretty f flustered and tired. But the shelves for Pasta, they're bare. The shelves for Andrex and Cushel and all that, they're all completely gone. Loads of vegan food still there though. Um, but interestingly, other things like baked beans, they've gone. Uh, tinned ravioli seems to be very popular and I almost had to force a lady out of the way who barged in front of me to help herself to tinned meat what the hell's going on with people well, you know this is this is crazy there's plenty to go around if we don't act silly and panic but all they're doing now they're, by this silly panic they're, they're actually making a self-fulfilling prophecy there's now a shortage of certain foods because the idiots have gone and bought all of the certain foods and stored them up at home. This will feed more panic. They'll go out and they'll buy up other things. Guys, this is really simple. It's not rocket science. Calm down. Be rational. If you've got the virus, stay home. Get people to help you, like I'm doing. And if you are, well, go and do your normal shop. Don't go and buy extra stuff. Don't put strain on the system because it's already under strain. Keep things going smoothly. If you do that, there should be no problems, there should be no shortages, there should be no disasters, there should be no stress. Anyway, anyone who requires some help doing their shopping over the next next few weeks while this is going on, give me a call. Uh, my number's uh, available on request, just PM me. And I'll do what I can to get your shopping for you, as long as I'm well. Anyway, peace out and good luck, good health to everybody.